Hey everyone, welcome back to the F-16 build. I'm super excited because today I'm finally getting started in the fuselage. It's going to be by far the most difficult part of the build since it has a lot of complex molds and a lot of internal wood structure, but at the same time it'll be super satisfying once it's all finished. I also got PVA to help release the skins from the molds, so I'm really excited to see how well it works out. Let's get to it! All right, this is the first time I used PVA, so let's see how well the skin pops off the mold. Sweet, it came out so clean. None of the primer peeled off the molds. All right, let's move on to some bigger molds. So I just finished sanding the inside of the fuselage skin, that way it's nice and rough so when I start gluing in the frames it has something nice, to, a nice rough surface to stick to. Some of you might be wondering why I didn't use peel ply on the, the skin when I laid up the fiberglass. So peel ply is like a nylon porous fabric I believe that you put on top of a layup so it kind of soaks up the extra epoxy that might be there so that you don't get puddles and overly saturated fiberglass skin. It's designed so that once the layup is cured, you can peel the peel ply off and it leaves like a nice rough surface. So that's also adds the benefit of not having to sand potentially the inside of the surface, even though I probably would still, even with the rough texture of the peel ply. So I thought about using peel ply and I decided I think for this project, it doesn't make sense to use it because 
this, I'm only doing one ply of fiberglass, so it's super thin. And from my experience using peel ply in the past on other projects, it takes a lot of force to peel the peel ply off. So I was afraid that because of how thin the skin was, the amount of force that would be required to take the peel ply off would kind of just ruin the skins and just make it really difficult to take it off. So instead, I just had to end up sanding everything. It's an F-16! So the skin came out really nice. I'm really happy with how it came out. It released from the mold perfectly fine. None of the primer peeled off. The PVA did its job. That's what all that green stuff is. I'll just have to wash that off with water. Unfortunately, the corners did not come out nice and sharp as I was hoping because the fiberglass did not want to fold and make a nice sharp corner into this crease here. So it just came out kind of round like a fillet. So I'll just have to go in and fill that later on when the airplane's ready for paint. But other than that, I'm really happy with how it came out. It's starting to look like an F-16. Initially, I was planning to sand the parts up until the pencil marks that I traced on, but because of how precise I need these parts to be, I decided it's better to 3D print templates that I'll tape onto the parts to use as a guide when I'm sanding.
And that wraps things up for this video. It was a lot of work to get to this point, especially because of the plywood frames. It took a lot of time to sand and cut them precisely to the shape they needed to be. Next time I have to deal with birch plywood, I'm definitely going to get those parts laser cut as well. But it's really starting to look like an F-16. My goal for the next video is to get the fuselage completely finished. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.